video, I'm going to talk about the quotient identities in trigonometry. And basically what they are is tan theta is equal to the sine of theta or cosine theta. And the cotan of theta is equal to the cosine of theta over sine of theta. And that, that's it. I, I'd seen these quotient identities on the internet. I thought it was something more involved, but really it's just the ratio of sine to cosine and cosine to sine. To make this a little bit more involved, though, we can prove this um, using SOCATOA. So we have our little right triangle over here. And we know that sine of theta is equal to opposite over hypotenuse, and cosine of theta is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. So what we can do, I'll move these down, is for tangent, we can plug in sine and cosine. We'll have opposite over hypotenuse for sine, all over adjacent over hypotenuse. And then if we do some algebra, this is going to come out to opposite over adjacent. And if we look back up at SOCATOA, TOA is opposite over adjacent. So this one checks out. Now for cotan, we can do the same thing, adjacent over hypotenuse over sine, which is opposite over hypotenuse. Algebra says these go away, and we're going to have adjacent over opposite. Cotan is the reciprocal of tangent, so really what happens is we just flip tangent, and uh, again, adjacent over opposite checks out. Now what we're going to do is run through a couple practice problems using this uh, quotient rule. Move this up here. And here's what we got. So for the first one, given cosine of theta equals 3 over 11 and sine of theta equals 5 over 11, find tangent of theta. So step one is write out our formula. Tangent of theta equals sine of theta cosine theta. Really no point in writing this out because we have it right here, but we're doing it anyways. Then we got 5 over 11 over 3 over 11. The algebra I'm doing, which I'm not, haven't been writing out, is I just pull this up and flip it. So it's going to be 5 over 11 times 11 over 3. And then that's how I'm canceling. So our answer here is going to be 5 over 3 for tangent of theta. Uh, second problem, given cosine theta equals 5 over 7 and sine of theta equals 2 over 7, find the cotan of theta. So we got our formula here. So we're going to have cosine, which is 5 over 7, over sine, which is 2 over 7. 7. 7's seven cancel. And we have 5 over 2 for cotan of theta. The last problem is they try to be a little bit trickier, but um, it's really just a couple extra steps. So in this case, we have tan of theta equals 20 over 9. And again, we know that this is sine of theta or cosine of theta. And we're given cosine of theta equals 9 over 21. So we're going to plug that in. Um, I'll write it all out one more time here sine of theta equals 9 over 21. Then we can multiply this up. We'll have 9 over 21 times 20 over 9 equals sine theta. Nines cancel. And then sine theta equals 20 over 21. So a little extra steps, but the process is the same. You know the formula that you're starting with, and then you just kind of plug in the stuff you know. 